What's up guys, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. I'm Goki and today we're gonna to be talking about maximizing your levels, what you can do to gain the most experience possible, uh, step by step from 10 to 20, from 20 to 30, so on and so forth. Uh, but first, leave a comment down below if you guys are enjoying the content. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We're almost to 250, let's get there. And I wanna thank you guys for watching my videos, much appreciated. I also stream at Twitch every Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 12 to 4 PST. Thanks for watching, guys. Alright, guys, here we are. The very first thing you want to do once you log in the game is make sure you run down your resin as fast as you can. Just run it down completely. That way, going through all the other steps, you're able to maximize your resin further. As it recovers, you can run more domains and ley lines depending on your level. Uh, for 10 through 21, make sure that you use ley lines, specifically the Mora one, once you uh, unlock it, to make sure you're consistently getting that XP and building more while you also farm for other materials using your Venture Book. And for 20 through 30, domains on your sensor materials, and you can still be running ley lines for Mora, but I do not advise that as the max amount of Mora gain really comes from Adventure Rank 45. Next, we're going to take a peek into the Adventure Book. The Adventure Book also gives a great amount of experience, even from starting off. If you're starting from scratch, Chapter 1 gives you a good 400 plus uh, 10k Mora, which is valuable, 50 gems, which is good. And then Chapter 2 gives you 600 and so on and so forth. So the more you go through your book, the more XP you get. Sure, at some times you will hit a wall on what you can do. Right now in Chapter 8, I am stuck. I have to get a character to level 80. I have to finish a Spiral Abyss 5-3. That's not really that hard. I have to get three characters to level 70. Or level them up to 70, which I need the Mora for. I have uh, four characters already awakened to 70. And I need to get three weapons to level 70, which I already have. I just need the Mora once again. So I'm kind of locked right now, I need to farm Mora and stuff for myself, but you guys need to be always doing your adventure books. And speaking of adventure book, your commissions is part of the adventure book, no excuse not to do it. This should be the second thing you do once you log in. Resin, maximize your resin, and you start with your adventure book. Go for your commissions first, and then you do the rest of the adventure book after. Make sure you can double dip. For instance, there are certain ones, like let's check it real quick. There are certain ones that says cleared three domains of mastery. That's 300 experience plus the 100 here. That's 400 experience that you gain. Plus you gain materials for your talent level ups for maybe your main DPS like Deluke, Razor, Ning Wong, all those other characters that are really good. And then you're gonna make sure after all of this, when you have no resin available, you wanna to lean towards exploration and challenges. This is only applying to people who've cleared the adventure quest. If not, you're going to mix your exploration, challenges, and chests along with your adventure quest. But once you're done with all those quests, you're going to lean into this. Because chests do respawn on a given timer. And challenges are all over the world for you to do. You just have to unlock the secrets. Make sure you're unlocking all the other secrets. Making sure you're doing all the other blue quests as well. Because some of them do give... Uh, Adventure XP, not the repeatable ones, but ones that you can do by like the nameless treasures and stuff that give a lot large amounts of Adventure XP that you can do. Now, with all the high end things you can do with all the tips that I've given you that uh, Adventure rank will come easier, there are things not to do. And that is farming artifacts. Farming artifacts in domains is probably the worst way to spend at level 30 or below 35 or below actually at level 40 that's when things become a lot more like a lot easier to get golds to max out to pimp out your characters so wait for 40 to start farming artifacts until then i would say save everything for farming your talents and your essential materials to make sure you have enough of those your weapon essential materials your weapon materials and Farm Devalin and Borealis at the end of the week. So let's say you start at level 10 and then you hit level 20 towards the end of the week. Farm Devalin then, don't do it as soon as you get access to them. Kill them the first two times and then you can run down. 
The thing with Boreas is you do fight him as a boss, but then you have the opportunity to touch the sword, unlock the fight, and play again. I would wait till the end of the week to go ahead and fight Boreas if you'd like to. So run it down once more, maximize your resin, make sure you're doing the Mora Ley Line, you need to do your adventure book all the time. When you log in, you do your commissions and you do explorations. Make sure you're opening every single chest you see and every single challenge you see. So right here, as you can see, this is the beginning of the week. It's still, uh, this is Wednesday right now, but my Boreas is not on cooldown anymore. And I haven't farmed them yet. I'm waiting until I get to 40 to do so. And my Storm Terror is also in the same position where I can go ahead and farm this version. I'm waiting for this version to run so I can have a higher chance of getting lab pieces, maybe some pieces of weapons for myself, maybe some artifacts like this so I can upgrade Ventis and stuff like that. But that's it for uh, leveling. I hope this guy, this guy helped you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Much appreciated. Please like the video, subscribe, make a comment what you guys would like to see in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.